And what we have here is known by the common name blue elderberry. The scientific name is Sambucus mexicana. Up until 2009, it was considered to be a member of the Caprifoliaceae, or otherwise known as the honeysuckle family. Then it was reclassified as a member of the Adoxaceae, otherwise known as the Moschatel family. And now it is considered to be a member of the Vibernaceae or Viburnum family. At least that's the uh, case according to Calflora. Um, and so the reason for all this reclassification, of course, is the, uh, uh, the ability now to do phylogenetic analysis. So instead of just looking at the morphology of the plant and comparing it to other plants and deciding family membership based on that, uh, now gene structure is the, the key variable that is used. Now this particular plant uh, grows from sea level up to at least 9,000 feet. Where we're at right now is 7,000 feet. Uh, and we're in Boggy Canyon, which is within the Sacatar Trail Wilderness. Uh, the one thing I should mention about these berries is that although they are edible, eating great quantities of them without cooking them could be a problem. E snacking on a few probably isn't going to be a problem, but they do, they are considered to or said to uh, contain cyanide, and cooking them into a jam or something is said to release the cyanide. Who knows why that would be the case. But at any rate, eating a few of these is no big deal. But if you eat too many of these, especially if they're not ripe, uh, could be a problem because of the cyanide content. Over and out.